Hello all, welcome to this video on distributed computing. Today I'll be talking about Bully algorithm. Bully algorithm was proposed by Garcia Molina in 1982. It allows processes to crash during an election, although it assumes that the message delivery between processes is reliable. Unlike the ring-based algorithm, this algorithm assumes that the system is synchronous. That is, it uses timeouts to detect a process failure. Another difference is that the ring-based algorithm assumed that processes have minimal a priori knowledge of one another. Each knows only how to communicate with its neighbor and none knows the identifiers of the other processes. The bully algorithm on the other hand assumes that each process knows which processes have higher identifiers and that it can communicate with all such processes. There are three types of messages in this algorithm. An election message that is used to announce an election. An answer message which is also the OK message that we will use here. Which is sent in response to an election message. And a coordinator message to announce the identity of the elected process that is the new coordinator. A process begins an election when it notices through timeouts that the coordinator has failed. Several processes may discover this concurrently. Now looking into the algorithm. When a process finds out that a coordinator has failed, which is usually through a failure detector, what it does is it will take its ID and check if it is the current highest ID. If it is so, it will elect itself as the coordinator and send coordinator messages to all the processes with a lower ID than itself and thus the election will be completed. If it doesn't have the highest ID, it will initiate an election by sending an election message. This message will only be sent to processes with a higher ID than itself. Now after sending the message, if it doesn't receive an answer within the timeout period, it calls itself a leader and sends the coordinator message to all the lower ID processes and thus the election will be completed. If it receives an answer for the election message, it means that there is some process which has a higher ID than itself. So, it will wait for the coordinator message from that process. If this message is not received after another timeout, then it will start a new election run. A process that receives an election message replies with an OK message and starts its own leader election protocol. When a process is started to replace a crash process, it begins an election. If it has the highest process identifier, then it will decide that it is the coordinator and announce this to the other processes. Thus, it will become the coordinator even though the current coordinator is functioning. It is for this reason that the algorithm is called the bully algorithm. Now, let us look into a scenario where failures can occur during the election run. Here we have six processes which are arranged in clockwise starting from the lowest numbered process to the highest numbered 3, 5, 6, 12, 32 and 80. You can see here that P80 and P32 are down and P12 and P6 are in waiting state which means it is waiting to get a coordinator message from the process with the higher IDs which are these two. The problem is they are down. So what happens next is we assume that P6 reached timeout. So what it does is it will call for an election while P12 is still in the waiting state. So it will send an election message to all the processes with a higher ID than itself. Only P12 will reply with an OK message. Now it will keep on waiting for messages from P32 and P80. 
after some time it times out so what happens is it will call an election again sending messages to all the three higher id processes we assume that p12 has also failed after some time so p6 will repeat the sending of election messages after each timeout and this process keeps on going in this scenario a leader can be elected only when this failure stops now taking the best case for this algorithm in the best case the second highest id will notice that the coordinator has failed then what it does is it will elect itself and send n minus 2 coordinator messages n is the number of processes in the group in this case the turnaround time is one message and the number of messages that is required during the worst case is big o of n squared there n minus 1 processes all together will begin elections now in the previous video on ring algorithm we saw that there are two conditions that needs to be satisfied by an election algorithm which is safety and liveness now we need to check if both of these properties are satisfied here this algorithm clearly meets the liveness condition by the assumption of reliable message delivery and if no process is replaced then the algorithm meets the condition for safety it is impossible for processes to decide that they are the coordinator since the process with the lower id will discover that there exists another process with a higher id than itself and agree to it but the algorithm is not guaranteed to meet the safety condition if processes that have crashed are replaced by processes with the same identifiers a process that replaces a crashed process may decide that it has the highest identifier just like any other process which has detected that the particular process crashed and it will decide that it has the highest identifier so two processes will therefore announce themselves as the coordinator concurrently unfortunately there are no guarantees on message delivery order and the recipients of these messages may reach different conclusions on which is the coordinator process furthermore the safety condition may be broken if the assumed time out values turn out to be inaccurate that is if the process failure detector is unreliable now let us look into an example of bully algorithm we are taking the case of six processes we saw before with the same process id and here we assume that the process with the highest id which is p80 has failed and we assume that the process p6 has detected the failure of p80 so what it does is it will initiate an election by sending election messages to all the processes with a higher id than itself so it will send messages to p12 p32 and p80 then it is expecting an answer message or an okay message from each of these nodes so as you can see here p12 has replied with an okay message and p32 also did the same so after replying with an okay message that particular process will start an election by itself that is here p12 is sending election message to p32 and p80 similarly p32 has started an election by sending message to p80 and p6 will go into a waiting state because it is waiting for a reply from p80 because it has sent an election message to p80 before now what will happen is 
P80 will not respond to P12 since it is down. P32 will reply with an OK message. So now what happens is both P12 and P6 are waiting for reply from P80. That is why it is in the waiting state. Now after that both of them will reach the timeout and they will understand that P80 is down. And since P32 doesn't get any reply from P80, it will declare itself as the coordinator and send out coordinator message to all the other processes. And thus the election is completed. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.